Hello and welcome. My name is Claudine and today I'll be talking to you about me time. Our schedule follows look of a book. Is this the norm or can it be changed? We can still afford some me time despite the busy schedules we have. In the world of today, it may be difficult to disconnect and tune off. The influence is due to digital age where everything is at the fingertips, making me time less of a priority. The competing demands of work, family and relationships can lead to endless fatigue along with all that surrounds you, including disturbing news. Allowing yourself some time to tune off is part of our emotional health. Are you struggling to find me time? Here are eight tips to make it part of your daily routine. Prioritize your sleep. Getting enough sleep is one of the most important parts of self-care. According to sleep guidelines, one needs seven to nine hours of ideal sleep. Plan your day to ensure you get enough rest and prioritize your sleep. Whatever you do, stick to your plan. Number two, try micro self-care. Having mid-time doesn't need to take a long day. This can start with waking up five minutes early to have quiet tea time or a cup of coffee. And then take a minute to peek through your window to feel the fresh air. Other things you can consider include listening to music before or after you drive somewhere or reading a book for minutes after your lunch. Number three, make time for longer bouts of self-care. In addition to daily mini moments of me time, it's very important for your mental health to block out at least two hours twice a week for a deep reset. This can prevent a person from hitting a wall of psychological fatigue. Activities that help with recharge include connecting with friends, riding a bike, or chilling with your pet. Number four, take recess. We all need breaks during our routine daily activities, including current school and work from home world. This is irrespective of one's age, whether a child or an adult. Adults need breaks in the day to reset, shift gears and refocus. Meditating for 20 minutes a day or twice a day, or even two minutes twice a day help with shifting gears and refocus. Stop focusing and daydream, number six. Concentration may be overwhelming and difficult to achieve once you hit the wall. You need to remove yourself from anything that requires a focus. Set yourself a timer to shift your focus and recharge. Tips include turning off your computer, turning off your phone for half an hour to an hour, and taking a walk. Number six, give yourself reset days. Schedule two days each month where you can allow yourself to avoid distracting from stimulation, like technology. Scheduling these days in advance and putting them on your calendar is a big part of what makes this tactic beneficial. This doesn't have to be a whole day. A few hours at a time will do. Don't forget to end your day and go home. Number seven. This is especially if you're working from home. Being at home no longer constitutes as a me time or downtime. Ending your day means completely shutting off your computer and a phone and moving away from your workstation. Number eight, think of me time as your oasis. 
Think of your me time as your oasis means you spend a minute or a day there. Maybe you have two or three screaming children at home and when you step into your car, that's your oasis. The more ways you find throughout your day to make time for yourself and spend time in your oasis, the easier it becomes to get there. It is your responsibility to find what works best for you. Start with at least one of the tips and work your way towards the rest. Make me time part of your daily routine to help improve your mental health. 